Hey there. Video number two from the same hike. <clears throat> uh, that was weird. I, uh, once I got done, usually what I do is just hike along and re-enjoy the scenery until I get to the end. And, but this time it just sent me down a completely other trail. And I figured, and it was a fun trail. It was a lot of great memories. And, and so I figured I'd just pop right back on and and talk about that because it's another, whoa, <laughs> maybe one of these times you catch me falling. Uh, but yeah, it's a, a really important foundational belief that my dad gave me. And, uh, and it, it was pretty, it's a pretty complex one as well. But I remember back when I was real young, uh, you know, when you're trying to get along interpersonal relationships with your friends and there's lots of fighting and crap like that but I remember my dad telling me Pete you never start a fight you just finish them and I always took that as like ooh that's a that's a great saying that means if someone starts a fight with me I've got permission to take them down and uh and so the but but of course I just said okay dad and, and didn't tell him the way that I interpreted it but when you're young how else are you going to interpret it other than extremely literally? But, you know, when I think about my dad, he was always, like, if there was ever anybody who was uh, the underdog or, or somebody who some, somebody was taking advantage of or whatever, my dad would be the first one to speak up and try to resolve that situation. I remember he would share letters that he would write at work when things were happening that he felt were not right for the whole team. And he happened to be the spokesperson, but he would lay out these great letters that, I mean, he just did such a good job of actually kind of bringing the situation to light and then proposing a way to be able to solve it. And I thought it was great. And, uh, but, but now as time goes on, I can see the way my behaviors over the, over the years, uh, you know, I said, in earlier videos, I really don't have any any flight in me. I'm all fight, and I really believe I, I really think that I believed that stuff. That's it's not necessarily. And I have thought, like I love conflict. I, I don't have no problem being right in the middle of conflict when it's happening. And so I thought that just meant I was a jerk. You know, I don't mind going in and arguing or fighting or doing whatever. But now as I think about it, honestly, if I, if I think about all the times where I've waded into something like that, it usually is a situation of where I was either defending somebody, defending a cause, or a situation of where I felt like I could wade into it and, and end it. And, and so it really was that messaging, but obviously subconsciously it was happening at a different level. I wasn't thinking my way through it that logically. But now that I see it, I wasn't necessarily starting the fights. I was trying to end them. And probably over the course of the last two months or so, I've been thinking a lot about conflict. And I've got a lot of different ways that I've expressed it, but I won't get into those because some of them are typical off-color me. But the, uh, the, the thing that I think about is I... I know that conflict is necessary in most cases for something to get better. And I've said for a really long time, without tension, nothing improves. So, and again, I use that as my excuse to, because I always found myself in those tension or tense filled situations. But when you think about it, for me, I love the conflict, but only if there's resolution. Like resolution is truly what I'm in it for. It's not the actual art of war or fighting or any of that stuff. I enjoy conflict so that we can get to the resolution and move forward. And I know there's not a lot of people out there who, who uh, like enjoy conflict or who don't mind it, but I would challenge you to think about it maybe a little bit differently as you're embarking on your next 50 years of your life or whatever. Perhaps the people who seem to enjoy conflict 
don't necessarily enjoy it because they like fighting or pushing back or challenging or whatever. Maybe they're doing it for the sake and the soul sake of getting some resolution. Now, yeah, some of us fight to fight, right? But, but I truly believe that, that for me, as I've started to internalize that message more, how important it is and was when it was delivered to me, but also how much more complex it was. And I'm really happy that I finally figured it out so I can give myself a little bit of a break and recognize that just might be my radar going up saying, yes, there's potential conflict, but there's a really good resolution out the other side. Maybe you should get involved and see what you can do. So it's a different way, a brand new way of thinking through conflict. But anyway, have a great day. I'm going to go continue my hike and uh, hopefully don't feel moved again. But if I do, I'll share. Thanks. Bye.